Brandy, welcome back. You're, you're one of my favorite songwriters uh, coming into Songcraft. And, and we've talked before about song uh, inspiration and uh, your influences. So I'm going to go in a different angle tonight. Right. I am. Uh, because I, I worked with you and I know that you have some real um, exceptional opinions on, on media and people and uh, celebrities. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> I, you know, I used to always be uh, in awe of... Uh, uh, you have some wrestlers that you you love, and uh, it, it's, oh, yeah. who, who's your favorite wrestler? I guess we'll start with that. All time wrestler or present day wrestler? What? All time wrestler or present day wrestler? Did you say present gay wrestler? Present day. Oh, present day. Present uh, day. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, both. Start out with the one. All right. All time. All time wrestler would be George the Animal Steel, the original Otterly, the one with the green tongue used to eat the turnbuckle. Hell yeah! Okay. <laughs> now, if you were gonna say like when I was two, I would have to say Mike Rotundo, also known as Wall Street or IRS, because like I met him and he kissed my cheek and I was in there you all go. the rest of the there day. You go. But I was like two, so you know. Wait a but, second. Uh, Hulk Hogan isn't in there? Well, he was like awesome and all, but he wasn't like my favorite. Okay. Now, if we're gonna talk present day wrestler, oh, you gotta talk about Evan Bourne and AJ Styles and Jeff Hardy and mm, my future husband John Cena. Aren't there aren't there a couple of uh, twins that? Um a couple brothers. The Hardy Boys. That's Matt and Jeff Hardy, but they're not twins. Matt's like a year, oh, no, okay. two years older. Okay. His birthday September twenty second. Actually, Jeff Hardy's is August thirty first. Okay. Good. Good. Oh yeah, he's seven years older than me. <laughs> okay. And okay. Further media uh, discoveries. Um, books, because you're always reading, mm, and you're always reading vampire books. Yes. Okay. Yes. So uh, you're you're obviously a big fan of Twilight. I am not a big fan of Twilight because no. I'm sorry. Vampires do not sparkle. They can walk around in the sun without that issue. They do not not have to sleep. They can eat whatever the hell they want. They only have to have blood because of nanotechnology in their blood system stemming from Atlantis. The, these are important rules. You, you yes, know. yes so, they are. So is there a second vampire series that you like better that, has, that goes by the rules? Yes. If you go and look up Lindsay Sands, she is a paranormal romance author, okay. and her books freaking rock. I have all 13. Is paranormal romance a big genre? Yes, no. Yes, yeah. it is. It is, okay. Yes, I won't read regular romance. That stuff okay. sucks. It's all sappy and, oh my god, I love you, and it's like, ew. So all the writers are probably moving to the supernatural stuff. A lot of writers, yeah. Uh huh. And you mentioned before, you're a writer as well. I am. And uh, written this novel. Um, working on my novel. Still working on the novel, okay. Well, yeah. Well, uh, are you process. going, is your uh, pen name Brandy Daugherty? I'm or have you thought? I think I might call myself Ann Brandy because that's what my nephew used to call me when he couldn't say Aunt Brandy. Oh, <laughs> that's actually, that, that, that has a nice ring to it. Ann Brandy. Ann Bramby. Bramby? Bramby. That is what he called okay, me. Okay, okay. We'll try to keep that in mind. My nephew is adorable. I love him. <laughs> um, furthermore, I'm trying to think well, what are the other astounding uh, media appraisals you had. Well, singers, of course. That's sort of an easy one. Uh, let's talk about really, really new and recent singers. Um, any, anyone come to mind? Taylor Swift's new album comes out soon. Who is it? Taylor Swift. Her new album is coming out soon. Okay, and you're. I love Taylor Swift. Okay, she's freaking so amazing. Taylor Swift, you're. Taylor Swift is awesome. Definitely waiting for that. And I love the Jonas Brothers. Oh, okay, really? I love the Jonas you're Brothers. You're willing to admit that in public? I watch Disney Channel every day of my life, and I've seen every episode of That's Jonas and back. Jonas LA, and I uh -huh. sing with all the songs. Like my my text message ringtone right now is Nick Jonas is who I am. Okay, all right. Okay. Um, I, I love Hannah Montana too. I have no problem admitting this. Okay. I, I was her for Halloween, so. Okay. Have you seen them in concert? No. But but you plan to at some point in the Ooh, future. Okay. You'll because, get the T-shirt too. Because when Nick Jonas turns 18, he's gonna realize that he wants to marry me. Wait, he's not 18. No, he's 17. I'm a pedophile at the moment for Wait, looking at him. Those guys. Those guys aren't even 18. Kevin. Kevin is. Huh. 20. So I know I nothing think. about them. Uh, no, Kevin's 22, Joe's like 19, and Kevin, uh, yeah. Nick oh, wait, I do know something about them. They're celibate, aren't they? 
Not Kevin anymore. He got married. He gets to get laid all well, the time. Well, well, that's... Uh, uh, <laughs> marriage is celibacy, believe well, me. Well, no, they, they, wear, they wear purity rings, and, and they're very yeah, firm that on kind that of belief, thing. and I that think that's actually okay. kind of cool, but I think I'm your not, dad's like a preacher, so... You know, I'm not against that, if, if that's their thing, but um, I just... Uh, that's the one thing that I remember hearing about them. <laughs> anyway, what we're going to try next, mm -hmm. and this is uh, one of the... Uh, uh, keynote experiments is a, a great song that you wrote called Dark Destiny. I love this. Um, you told us in the last interview, uh, did you write this in a dream? Did we no, I wrote it in the router room at work because I was bored. Oh, the router room. <laughs> I okay. Don't, I don't ever really normally have much inspiration. I just get bored and I just start playing with stuff in my head and then I'm like, oh, I bet you that would sound good if I sang it. And then I sing it. I'm like, oh, it does sound good. And then I write it down and then I just remember. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm like weird when it comes to songwriting. It's just like, it's like nothing. I, my friends like heard me singing something on YouTube. They're like, you wrote that? I'm like, yeah. And they're like, how long did that take you? It was like 10 minutes. And they're like, what? It takes a week for us to write a yeah, song. And I was yeah. like, oh, well, I'm sorry. You're not as you talented snap, as snap, snap, snap. All right. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> I do. I, but to remember the lyrics, don't you have to run it through your head many times? I read over it like twice on the paper. I wrote it down on it and I'm done. Really? You I'm, are fortunate. I memorize stuff no problem whatsoever. I'm oh, really I, good I have to play a new song for a month before I've got the lyrics down. Off of I, ask my mom. Yeah. I learned before he cheats after hearing it once on the radio. Ah, okay. And then all I did was sing it for two months, and she was so sick of it being on the radio and hearing it when it wasn't on the radio. <laughs> well, let me ask you then. This is very important. The process when hearing a new song, what goes on in your head? Does it just grab it all or your attention is really right on that? Honestly, I don't know because like yeah. I could be watching a movie like Repo the Genetic Opera and hear some new Shania Twain song in the background like in the next room and I'd be like, oh, I know that song. Okay. Yeah, all right. So it's, it's mostly applies to music as far as the memory um, goes. I'm really good at memorizing numbers that I have no need for. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, or, or like, there's a future I, in that. I can remember the stupidest thing in the world. Like, I'll be like, hey, you remember that time at the beach and then we walked out and you stepped on the seashell and you cut your foot open and then we rushed you to the hospital and they'll be like, what? I'll be <laughs> like, oh, never mind, you were drunk. <laughs> All right. Well, um, as I said, dark destiny is upon us or, or what we're going to try to do. And um, you also wanted to do a cover song. I do. If Brian, we have a little more time. Brian White's so yeah. much for pretending. Well, let's try this dark destiny, okay? Okay. 